All right, thank you for joining me. This fine, beautiful winter day. Car coming, I gotta be a little bit. Gotta wait a second here for this car to go by. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get into a geological theory today about this sandstone layering that's supposed to been happening below the oceans. I'm gonna prove it's wrong. Their theory is totally wrong. You see the different layers? This is all sandstone. Okay, and they believe this happens below the oceans. Inside this would be intrusive basalt way deep inside this, and that theory is not true either. See these layers? First of all, ask yourself this. If this stuff was under the ocean, how would sandstone, how would sand form layers like this and not just be one solid piece? You understand what I'm saying? See the separation lines? And chunk there. So you got one, two, three, four, five pieces here, six, big chunk, smaller chunk, and these layers. How did the layers separate? If it's all sandstone, how would it know to separate in layers? You would have to have that layer poured and hardened, then that layer poured over it and hardened, then that layer poured over it and hardened, then that layer poured over it and hardened. That is the only way this could happen to have all these separation lines. There's another layer there. See a layer, 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 a layer. Great big layer. Big old thick one. Why is there a big old thick one and these smaller ones? And why all the separation lines? If it's just sedimentary, uh, deposits of sandstone below the ocean and then compacted. You understand what I'm saying? What we're going to do is we're going to get a cross-section view. In other words, we're going to go get a view of this from the end looking that way and see what's really happening and why all this sandstone would have enough mind of its own to separate itself into individual blocks. Are you kidding me? I can't believe people, they, I can't believe they can't see this and the, the reason for it is because it wouldn't hold up the geological theory at all. See, this is a layer, a layer, a layer, a layer, a layer. Look how big these are, see? And this is all sandstone. So, and they say it happened under the oceans, billions and trillions and zillions, no, not that many years ago, but millions of years ago, and then hardened into these layers. And that's why we have all the sedimentary deposits on, on our mountains. And that's not true. It's not true. This sandstone would have no idea how to separate like this. It's, and it, it has nothing to do with retention. There's no retention going whatsoever to make it separate and do individual blocks and individual lines. If it's all just sandstone, if it was, if it was all just sand, what would make it do this? Wait till I show you the end, a cross section. And then somebody please explain to me how it had enough brains to separate itself all into individual pieces. <laughs> see what I'm saying? Wait till you see this. Stand back here and get a little bit more view of it. And you see there's just layer after layer, big old thick layer. Look at that, that's not as thick there and there's a layer on top of it. But there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine layers that I can count, maybe 10 I can see right here. So what would make them all not just be one solid chunk and what would make them separate like that into layers? There's no way it could have been done at the same time because of the individual layers. You see what I'm saying? They'd all be one layer, they'd all blend together. It had to be done at individual times in order for that to happen, and that's just not possible either. I mean, let's go look at a cross section. Okay, this is a cross section. We were looking from the side of a piece, now we're coming to an end that's been chopped off and we can look right inside it. You see the layering that they're seeing from the sides, each individual layer? But then look how it's in individual blocks. Even individual pieces up there, individual pieces of sandstone. You get where I'm going with this? How those lines happen vertical then, and each section by itself, each block by itself? How did the sandstone know to separate into blocks? Especially those blocks up there, because it's all the same. You understand what I'm saying? Especially over here on the edges. How did all the lines, all the separate pieces, how did that happen if it's all sandstone layering underneath the oceans? You understand? How'd you get all the individual pieces of sandstone? How, how'd that all happen then? How did they know to separate into individual pieces if it's all just sedimentary deposit of sandstone? It's just sand deposited in layers under the oceans and it got uplifted from plate tectonics or something. That's why it's kind of tilted, they think. Then how did it get into individual pieces? Not just the layers, but individual pieces this way. There's no way sandstone would know to do this. You understand what I'm saying? And I understand what this is very well now, so I've got hundreds of hours into it. See that separation? You got the one over here, it's separate. And why are they this, about the same width? 
Ask yourself that. Between that piece, this piece, this piece, and the line over there, and then you got the individual pieces. You understand what I'm saying? Inside them. How would sandstone know to do this? What type of retention would make it do this? You see, it couldn't have been done at the same time because it would all just be one piece of sandstone. So how did it get to be individual layers like this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. How? How did each layer harden without the blending into another layer? And then there's round balls in it. What about the round balls? Well, we know about round balls. Oh, those are just concretions. That's geological too. Yeah, everything's geological. This is actually biological. Got a whole bunch of red nodules up in there. And that piece there's sticking out really well because a lot of it's falling down here. Ooh, look at this red and this black. See this black? Look at this shale in this sandstone. See some places there's a sedimentary of this, and this is but this is not one of them. This came off of right there. Let's hope some more don't come down and fall on the old head here, hey? But you see this? This is Fe202 right here. That's why you got rust in it. And this is shale. This is actually vein blood. Or, um, yeah, vein blood right here. That's what this is. Okay? And this, this, had, this is the reason this is more red, because this has not transitioned all the way. It's in transition. You understand? Had more oxygen in it. But this is, sh this is what they call shale, and it comes in many f different areas. But this is, this is vein blood that's in here. And you see those red nodules I was telling you about up in there? That's Fe2, that's Fe203 blood, little nodules of blood up in there that hasn't transitioned yet. And this is where you got shale here. And see how it's, <laughs> this is so cool. It's part of this. It's actually part of this and this, I can't remember what the uh, geology calls uh, sparkly here. Uh, pyrite, no, uh, is that what it is? Uh, God, uh, it's almost like a fake fool's gold type thing, but it's not gold silvery. <laughs> I forget. There's so much stuff to learn about geological theory and I don't learn it all because there's just too much of it just maddening. But anyway, this is a, uh, See what's underneath this? See how it's stuck to that? Somehow that's in the trans something part of the transition to this is actually what it is. I don't know if it's coming in very good on the camera. Okay, so yeah, so if you're a geologist or anybody that understands geology really well and can't just regurgitate what you've heard, <laughs> I'd like to know how this all did that if it's just a sandstone deposit. And look how that's not sandstone right there. See that solid red? I can't get up in there, that piece right there. Where am I at? Oh, right there. That is a red layer. That's actually a blood layer right in there. I'm not kidding you. That's why it's all red. And it's not, that's not even sandstone. That won't be sandstone. That will not be sandstone. Just like that wasn't sandstone on top of that rock. They don't understand what's going on. James Hutton was 100% wrong on geological theory. This is biology. The earth has created a carcasses. God is real. It's supernatural. And folks just need to get over it. Look at this over here. How did the sandstone know to go into individual balls, individual blocks like that? Huh? How? not sandstone deposit never happened under the oceans in millions of years like they think in their theory they're wrong 100% wrong